Thanks, Mudo. I love your stuff. I love to share. I love the share market, it's great. I get good returns and excellent rates. I keep an eye on my funds and get a wink from a mate. Got a nice big portfolio, I'm a bending Bill Gates. I adore our world of fences, obstructive deflections that make freedom augmented, pushing men like cattle into slaughterhouse dimensions, causing tension, apprehension, and a blissfully ignorant pretension. I love the rush of illegal and honest gambling hit, diminishing lives as markets whip or slide. I get a superiority joyride. I make money with little concern and no care of the harm, even if money for nothing is a killer of calm. Hysteria, like profit, grows! Fun and fear reels off the shows, disguising the calamity within, until we're all naked and left fetal positioning. Only then might we begin to start to not think of self and have a heart, build a future on truth and not common thought, actually prosecuting in a functional world court after which we make amends, all nations can and should and will be friends, no need for waste on defence. We can, all the world, live free from harmful armaments. Speaking truth these days, might as well play in traffic. Seems to be nothing but a hindrance. Most people are so busy playing the game that they don't recognise an authentic item. Really, it's just that they know that they'd rip someone else off. So they presume others would do it to them? How tragic a line of thought spiralling steep and deep. Ouch! How do the rest of us survive amongst shit like this? How fast the world moves. Change happens in the twinkling of an eye, the onset of a swell or time to actually finish a thought. Change is as easy as tying knots, not to say that that's all too easy either. Some tie a knot before they consider which purpose for what knot, and better perhaps to comprehend your knots and have knots available for the right situation so you can change the rope and reuse it, rather than buying more or getting knotted. Even knowing lots of knots, I know not a lot. Hey, has anyone got the time? What's the time? I've got to check on my car. Because you, you haven't been in Byron Bay till you've got a parking fine. Who hasn't had a parking fine yet this weekend? You got one? Yeah, anyone else got one? Yeah, you got two. Well done. Welcome to Byron Bay. Yeah, I got a fine in the mail. Told me I didn't vote. Oops, it must have slipped my mind. Makes me think without my vote, am I guilty of these warmongering times? Why should I vote? Seems not to change a thing. We're voting on issues rather than our current king. I'd be interested in what's happening. Might be inclined to hand a vote in. While the system's how it is, send me another fine. I'll pay again, smiling all intense before I'll cue the vote in line. I'd like Australia to show some backbone. Instead of kissing bums, step out from skirts of puppets and queens. Be proud of who we become. Stand for peace. Do what's right. Helping all people however we can. That's how we live safe and free. Who needs wastage on defence? As long as we keep our lips on us, we'll never know our strength. It's time for a shower, time to clean things up and wipe away some old world stench. It's kind of sad I don't care to vote. Since my family paid with blood, what they fought for was just and strong. And where's our Geneva Convention? Gone? All these elections, all the fuss, all the rights and all that left. All the war, all the politicians, all their beeping debts. All the money going down, all the drains and all these goings on. How about my right to abstain? And what about that song that said, Advance Australia, 